So hi and welcome to this first part of this new series on how to make a game with OpenGL and C++ and this time we will make, as promised, an FPS game. Now, like in the past series, I will explain every single line of code I type or at least try to explain it as best as I can. Um, I do expect you to have some basic C++ knowledge or knowledge of any object-oriented language like Java or yeah, whatever you want to. And uh, for the windowing, we will be using GLW3. I have a video on how to install that, so I'll give a link to that in the description note. The video only describes how to install it on a Mac. So yeah, uh, I will be doing this on a Mac using, using Xcode, but the source will be the same. Well, the source code will be the same on Windows and Linux. But, well, at least for the, for the most part, at least. Um, so yeah, let's, let's begin. So uh, yeah, open up Xcode and press command shift N to, uh, to begin a new project. And select the command line tool template. Then name your name your uh, project something. I'll name mine simple of this. Um, select the type, make sure it's C++. And use, and use automatic reference counting. You can uh, Select that also. And create your place. Doesn't matter. Then, so as described in the installation video for GLW3, make sure to select the current OS X in the build settings on the simple FPS project. And then add the library. So add our OpenGL framework. And also add the lib glfw 3binlib dynamic library. Now, I recommend you create a new group in Xcode and name it frameworks or libraries. And put your lib glfw 3 and openglframework in that group just to keep everything organized. Now, um, Open up main and delete everything in that to start from scratch. I'll actually first up uh, create a new C++ class. And this will be our base class, or well, our game manager. And so the class where we will create all of our uh, all of our sub systems. And so yeah, we'll see. So yeah, name it game manager and create. Now this will be a singleton class. If you don't know what that is, a singleton class is basically just a class of which there's only one object. So every time you request a pointer to the class, you get a pointer to that same object. Oops, what that happen? Private. Oh, private, yes. Now, in such a class, the um, the constructor and destructor methods are always private. So create them in the header file. So game manager and the destructor also. Now, oh sorry, game manager, yes. Now, so to get an instance of the class or a pointer to the object, uh, it, uh, you call a static method. So a static game manager, and it will always return a reference to the object. So I name it st uh, static game manager reference and name it get game manager. Okay, now for the implementation. So in your LCDB file, Game manager at game called game manager get game manager. I now I always write the wrong thing. Game manager, yes. Okay, now um so go away. Um now a single thing. So a singleton is always a static variable. Now, uh, there are two main ways to make a singleton. One is 
to simply uh, create a, a static variable. So game manager so static game manager so like this and then simply return return it and this is the most the most common way to create it but with this there's only one problem so uh, this variable is created when we first call this at the static method yeah, and by the way in C++ um, you don't have to repeat static in the implementation you only you have to, to, to specify the static in the in the handler file and for the people that don't know the static variable will stay in memory for the iteration of the program um, as of this, its creation so, but, so when we create this, this, this static variable, it will stay in memory. Now, the problem is that we can't control when it is get destroyed. And in a game, we have multiple subsyst subsystems, subsystems, and all of those subsystems have dependencies on each other. So there is a certain order of starting them up and, and destroying them. And we have to control that, or or, or our game will not work properly. So to do that, the best way is to change the, this to a pointer. So game manager, pointer game manager equals null. And then we do an if statement if game manager equals null, only then we create a new game manager. So game manager equals new game manager. Okay, and then we return this. Now uh, make sure to put an asterisk here because um, we have to give a reference back to the object. Oops, to the object. And this way we get the object and then the pointer. Okay, now for our now we oh, we also need a static method to to, uh, to destroy our our, uh, our game manager. So name this. So this will be a void and name it simply destroy destroy game manager. And the implementation for this will be simply void. Game manager destroy game manager and what we do is quite simple we simply do game manager pointer game game manager equals get game manager so we get an instance and make sure to put an add sign to get the reference so we get an instance of our game manager and then we do and then we basically do delete game manager sorry delete delete the object and to be safe we can do um, an if statement if if game manager is not equal to no delete it. Okay. And this is the basic singleton design pattern. So again we make a static uh, a static pointer to we to an object and then we create the object object only once so the first time we call this method and then we we return a reference to that object. So then go to your main SVP class. So we can actually you know, first return to your game manager and then simply print something to the console so we can see that it's working. So do simply std cout um, name it game manager created and do std inline 
and then simply copy this and also when it gets destroyed you can say game manager destroy 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 yes okay. one more thing um in your .cdp file make sure to also give it an implementation for your constructor and destructor so game manager game manager and for destructor game manager game manager and in C++ you, the implementation you always have to prefix with the name of the class and double double point um, okay then go to your mail cdp so let's include our game manager dot h and create our int main function uh, so int rgc so argument count and char double asterisk rgv then let's create a pointer to our game manager so game manager game manager equals to call a static method in C++ always always prefix it with name of the class and a double double point so game manager get game manager and if you're returning a reference so be sure to put an add sign and then let's also destroy it so again prefix it game manager destroy game manager we'll have a small error here but that's okay for now so run this and you can see in the console game manager created and game manager destroyed and this was our first episode okay so in the next episode we will uh, initialize our shell w a library and create our window and yeah see you then guys bye